In this lesson, I'm going to narrate to you the brief history of cloud computing. And this story, this history starts in 1961 when Professor John McCarthy professed that time sharing model will result in future where computing power will be sold as utility. And that's what we are doing with cloud computing right now. Around the same time was when JCR Lekelider uh, from ARPANET had conceptualized the concept of intergalactic network where computers all over the world could be interconnected using a common network. Now, in 1960s, the world was running on mainframes. And these mainframes were like really huge computers which were independently working. Uh, these were like room full of computer. And, uh, you know, you would need specialized people to operate those. And th those were, since this, those were isolated, uh, there was no interconnection between these mainframes. Uh, what started, though, in around 1960s and 70s was the distributed model of computing, where you would have collection of computing units, which would work together to provide a service and that is when the client server model of computing started along with let's say peer to peer and uh, that was the foundation of also the grid computing where you'd have uh, you know multiple computing units which would talk to each other so instead of running this one single big computer you could actually add the power of distribution to it so that you get high performance at a lower cost because instead of uh, building these bigger computers, you could now build smaller computers and make them talk to each other and do the similar amount of processing or you could possibly scale up as well. Fast forward to 1999 was when virtualization, the first you know desktop or x86 virtualization was created by VMware as a company and that was when VMware was founded. Now, virtualization is also the foundational technology for the cloud computing that came in later. Now, with virtualization, you could create these virtual environments, virtual computing units, and leverage the same amount of hardware, and you could do more with that using the virtual computing units there. Around 1991 was when Tim Berners-Lee introduced the concept of World Wide Web where you could use the disparate set of computers across the globe. You could connect them together and use them to share any information. And with that concept, you could actually use your browser on the desktop and connect to any computer and access any sort of information. And that was revolutionary. In 1999 was when, you, based on top of all of these technologies just mentioned, including World Wide Web, the internet, and uh, you know the client-server model of computing, Salesforce introduced Salesforce.com, which offered a web-based application. So you didn't have to install any software on your desktop. You could use your browser and access the software which was hosted on the Salesforce side. And that was the beginning of the cloud computing. And this was more like a platform as a service or a software as a service model. But what came later was the infrastructure as a service introduced by AWS in 2006. With its initial two services, uh, which were called as EC2, Elastic Cloud Compute, and S3, which was a storage service. However, in 2008 was when AWS introduced a host of very useful services, including virtual private cloud, the storage in the form of uh, Elastic Block Storage, EBS, uh, Elastic Load Balancers, and a very interesting technology called as auto scaling, where you could you know, scale your infrastructure up on demand and uh, based on you know dynamically scale your capacity out and in and that was you know um, an amazing feature to have for a lot of companies which would then leverage all of these features and start 
building their applications on cloud. Uh, around 2008 was when Google Compute Engine launched their own public cloud service, which was followed by 2009 when Azure, Microsoft Azure, was first launched. And today, as Professor John McCarthy mentioned, we are using this cloud computing model as a utility computing, where we have shared utilization of computing resources on demand. And this is similar to the utility model, just like how you buy the power, water, and gas connection. So for example, if you need power for your house, you don't go and build the power distribution and power generation units. All you need to do is, uh, you know, process a power line, uh, get it for your house and start using any device that you want on demand, that is. And at the end of the month, you get a bill for the units of power that you used for your house. And that's exactly what happens with the cloud computing utility model today, where you can you know, procure as many servers as you need, as much of compute capacity, network, storage, databases, and use it however much you want. And you can scale it up, scale it down, and you pay at the end of the month for whatever consumption that you have for your compute units.